happened? How did I get back here? Lovely day for it. You're looking nice and trim. Lovely day for it. You flirt. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Did you hear? They've caught fog. Lovely day. That's an hear? awful lot of bobbies. Bobby Jack got another one last night. All right. All right. Looks like. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. Next week, Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Lovely day for it. Don't you lovely day for it, me, you idiot? It's me, Sally. Oh, I knew it was you. I mean, the glasses, the hair, the really adorable jacket. Don't ask me how. You're not that awkward little boy anymore, are you? But the way you walk, it's, it's like the mask isn't even there. I just, I just knew. There's Arthur. Sally. You look fantastic. This ancient thing. I've had it two weeks. I'm out of my mind with boredom. Green and white checked. Your dress, the last time I saw you. Running out the door. <laughs> oh, that horrible gingham dress. Oh, God, that takes you back. <sighs> You're off your joy. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Oh, you have little fucking faith. I'm not going to turn you in. Whatever possess you to go off your joy? Percy. Oh, God. I saw a picture of him. I promised I'd look after him in Germany. I have to go and find him. How are you going to get out? Do you even have a letter of transit? Absolutely. On my desk in the city. <laughs> Good Christ. Just tell the policeman that. I'm sure they'll wave your right on through. Yeah, haven't figured that bit out yet. I'm very close with General Bing. Of course you are. <laughs> no. You always did have a knack for making helpful new friends. I mean, I could go see him and ask him to give you a letter of transit. Don't put the General out on my account. I'm sure you've only so many favours you can ask of him. My God. You still hate me, don't you? Yeah, well, I've only been wondering for the past 14 years. We were 16! How could you? Because I liked him. Because he had that adorable beard. I don't know. There isn't a reason for everything. You're the last bloody person who should be off his joy. I can't believe you are. Believe me. Take enough stuff. Look. Some downer broke into my lab last week. Literally tore the bars off the windows. And the ridiculous thing is I forgot to lock the front door. But point is... It's a horrible, terrible world out there. I just don't see you smashing your way into the city without a great deal of help. Oh, no. Not me. I'm living on the King's Road right now. Of course you are. I couldn't exactly have stayed there, could I? Like, nothing happened. <sighs> Look. I'm sorry. This isn't what I meant to... Maybe we could help each other. Maybe I could come by when I'm feeling... better? Brilliant. You ass. How about going to the King's Road, knocking on her door and apologising grievously? And asking nicely for a letter of transit. She knows General Bing. Damn it, lads! She's Scarper! Oh, but what have we here? A friend of Miss Boyle's, innit? Funny, you don't seem all high and mighty. Perhaps we can express our feelings about Miss Boyle to her friend. There's the one that did it. You <laughs> 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 I just want to make you feel better. <laughs> Where did you go? <laughs> what have we come to?
Now, now, what's all the scuffle? You've been having an altercation in the alley? Uh, nothing you need to worry about, Constable. I'll, uh, just be on my way. And where is it you're on your way to? Precisely. Just off to see an old friend on St George. Oh, well, no need to be in such a hurry. The bridge to St George is, uh, under renovations. Oh, for how long? I hesitate to prognosticate, sir. Dr. Faraday's the only one who knows how to fix the uh, ridiculous contraptions on them bridges. Word has been sent, but we've not had the courtesy of a reply. Why don't you, uh, I don't know, uh, go to Dr. Faraday's house? Because Dr. F has removed to a secret location, the, uh, location which headquarters keeps, uh, uh secret. All right. I'll ask your headquarters then. You some kind of troublemaker. Stay out of city business. I suppose if I want to go and make up with Sally, I need to get Dr. Faraday to come fix his bridge. So I need to visit police headquarters and find out where he's gone. Not risky at all. Lovely, Lovely day for it. Complicated with Sally, isn't it? It. Hello, I'm attempting to locate Dr. Faraday. Uh, can you tell me where I can find him? I'm afraid that information is not for public consumption, sir. I could tell him where to find Bobby Hickenbotham, though. Oh, for heaven's sake. He's not at the Reform Club again, is he? He was supposed to go to Lud's own. Well, apparently he feels so guilty that Dr. F has been deprived of the liberties, which are the birthright of every English citizen, he's going to get his arse spanked. Constable Bevan, I'm not the public. I'm from the Department of Archives, Printing and Recycling. We're conducting an investigation into Dr. Faraday's handling of municipal records relating to the maintenance of the interinsular bridges. Two requests have already been sent by Miss Bing to your superior requesting this information. If I have to go back to the parade, Miss Bean's next letter regarding this apparently deliberate festinence will include the name of the last person I talked to. Will that be you, Constable, or the chap who keeps the constabulary's address book? In that case, sir, uh, why don't you take the elevator on up to records? They'll sort you out. Thank you. I shall. What the hell is festinence? They deprived Dr. Faraday of his liberties. But he made all the... bridges. Percival Hastings, is it not? N no, it's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? Lovely weather. Righto.
No. Just rest in my feet. Hello? Constable Bevan said you're the chap who has Dr. Faraday's current address. Uh, that's right. I've got records of everyone's address back there. All alphabetical. I'm quite proud of it. So, where is Dr. Faraday relocated to? Oh, I can't tell you that. You're not a constable. <laughs> I guess it would take two of you to make one constable, if you had platform shoes. <laughs> right. Anyone else you'd like me to not tell you the address of? You're very helpful. That's what everyone says. You know, I used to patrol the street. It was lovely. Shopkeepers give you sandwiches, ladies flirt, the warm sun on your coat. One misstep, and they put you in the records room. It's hardly fair. He was breathing when I left him. Where do you think you're going then? Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. But why do the Germans want children? I don't know. Where are they taking them? I don't know. They won't say. When are they coming back? No one knows. They won't say. Why won't they say? Well, just shut it, Percy. Just shut it. <sighs> Sorry. Till the war's over. I guess. They're losing, I think. But the radio... But, but the radio keeps talking about victories. Yes, but the victories keep getting closer to Berlin. I can't hear you. They keep winning, but they're then going backwards. That doesn't make any sense. It does if they're lying. Oh, people shouldn't lie. It confuses everything. Yes, yes, it really does. organized. Dr. Faraday's in Ludd's home. That's crazy. Why? And how do I get to Ludd's home? Are they renovating it? Just, uh, watching the day go by.
Percival Hastings, is it not? N- no, it's Arthur. Percival went away. Odd. There are some things you think you will never forget. But then I suppose you do. I'm Arthur. Arthur Hastings. Memories play tricks on you, do they not? You must get back on board! How old are you, Mr. Hastings? I'm... Hello? Constable Bevan said you're the chap who has Dr. Faraday's current address. Uh, uh, that's right. I've got records of everyone's address back there. All alphabetical. I'm quite proud of it. So, where is Dr. Faraday relocated to? Oh, uh, I can't tell you that. You're not a constable. <laughs> I guess it would take two of you to make one constable, if you had platform shoes. <laughs> right. Anyone else you'd like me to not tell you the address of? You're very helpful. That's what everyone says. You know, I used to patrol the street. It was lovely. Shopkeepers give you sandwiches, ladies flirt, the warm sun on your coat. One misstep, and they put you in the records room. It's hardly fair. He was breathing when I left him. That's it. Keep running. Looking good. Right as rain, sir. Right as rain. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Righto. Oh, lovely. I'm famous. in there. He certainly does have this place organised. Dr. Faraday's in Lud's home. That's crazy. Why? And how do I get to Lud's home? Aren't they renovating it? Oh, 
lovely day for it. All right. Bobby Hickenbotham. He's supposed to check up on Dr. Faraday, but he's at the Reform Club instead, getting his ass spanked. Hmm. He must have some sort of ID that lets him cross to Lud's hole. Maybe I could borrow it. doing this. <sighs> Couldn't be better, thanks. It's never a good idea to throw out food, especially meat. If you have it... The Reform Club. This is where that chap is supposed to be getting spanked, isn't it? The one with the credentials for crossing the bridge to Lud's Hole. I have the oddest feeling about this place. Like I should come back. Maybe not during the day. Everything's coming up, Roses. I learned a new patty cake routine. Do you want to try it? Should clear up soon, I imagine. I can't wait to see how they've fixed up Lud's home. Happiness is a choice. Don't mind me, just having a bit of a sit down. these all the time and I wouldn't have any worries. Hello. Please hold your invitation up to the camera. Oh yes, that's lovely. Do come in. More of us every day. Lovely day for it. I don't think your tastes are quite particular enough to enter if you, you know, Catch my drift. Perhaps you should go play snooker instead. I suppose I should come back entirely covered in rubber. Oh, I look like an utter perv in this suit. At least I'll fit in among pervs. On the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity and lightning and things. Lovely day for it. They say you see the oddest shadows in the street at night. I never look. <laughs> nice to have a way to take people out of commission without killing them. Oh, 
don't keep taking joy. You'll forget Percy. sick. Oh, it's all getting mushy again. Noise, Papa Joy. Did you hear something? You can't hide forever. Very well crafted, I must say. His stuff, and then I can walk across the bridge to Lopez. Like Can you? Lovely weather. Don't you just love the smell of motiline? It's so modern. Day for it? Did you see the Piper's match? Who's there? Oh, I'd love to chat, but I'm so discombobulated right now. I can't find my magic wand. I mean, I know where it is. It's in the locker, of course, but I can't find my key. And John Cleland and his friends are coming. They do so love my magic wand. Do you think you can help me find my key? I have to tidy, you see. Could you bring it to me here? Don't touch anything. It's got to be just so for my guests. Is that her magic wand? I could use that as a sort of unbreakable head knocker. I have a feeling that's not what they use it for, though. Be much of a bobby in a trench going plimsolls, eh? <laughs> you catch my drift? Oh. 
Couldn't be better, thanks. It's been a while, hasn't it? All right. Oh, well, look at you. Ah, oh, to be young again. There you are. Lovely weather. Watch out for sky beach. Jack says. Nothing but blue skies. Did you hear? Bonky Jack got another one. Last night. Yes, they are. Lovely day for it. I'll see you at the pub.
<laughs> That's a guilty bugger. You're there. coming with me. That's the one more done it. <laughs> Happiness is a choice. Excuse me, I've been asked to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's Bobby Hickenbotham? The executive committee don't let just anyone drop by the lab, you know. Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motorline and a handful of mechanical bits? No, I don't either. And that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, at the Reform Club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, penchant? Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. And I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions at his reputation. I have been ordered by the General himself to ask for credentials from the Beautification Committee. Have you got any? There you go. Fine. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs, and they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Oh. You better take these, in case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would wait. All right. Right is right. Right is right. Lud's hole. That's where they've quarantined all the wastrels with plague, isn't it? That's a cheery thought. just a cough. Well, he's sprouting, isn't he? He said he hadn't got a scratch. I'd call those scratches, wouldn't you? Are you sure it's safe to get that close? You won't catch it from looking. There could be spores. Try not to get bitten. They go a bit crazy towards the end. Thanks. I'll be careful. Run! No! If you don't want to end Please. up like him! Woo. I hope it doesn't go for me Whee. when it turns. Ah. Oh. I can't 
work something out? No? They've really gone out of their way to isolate Dr. Faraday. They must be extremely dangerous. Fucking stuck! Roger! What did you do to the fucking valve, huh? You over-tightened it, didn't you? Jesus fucking Christ. Why'd I have to fall for a stupid fucking mechanical imbecile? I told you to leave the plumbing the fuck alone! It's always the fucking eyebrows. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, leave us alone. Why won't you leave us alone? She's going to fucking kill us if we keep fucking up! Don't worry, Roger. I'm going to fix it, because that's what I do, apparently. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor is going to kill us. She's going to tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her. And, uh, Roger's worse. He breaks everything. The professor's going to send us both away. <laughs> Can you get us a new valve? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. It never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... houseboys. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like this? Oh, brilliant! Oh, this is perfect! Thank you! But you've saved us. Look, go on in. The lab's brilliant. Roger will give you a hug. <laughs> Maybe the professor can help you too. Why don't we speak Latin? Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. Why do you want to speak Latin? You always... You always... You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know. You always know what each... You always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage. Impedimentorum, of the baggage and impedimentis to the baggage. So it doesn't matter what all you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about... Oh, fuck off. Why are you learning Latin anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. You make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you... 
learn German. When, when you learn, ge- when you. I don't want to learn German. You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German. It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise. Entirely too good. Should clear up soon, I imagine. No, no, I, uh, these chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St. George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in? What did you do? I told the executive committee I wasn't going to make any more spankers, or gates, or clever locks, or pupas, or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. And no, I don't work for them. You're rather brilliant to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm... How? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says, Open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right. Maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St. George. I can. But not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motiline. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. Snug as a bug on a drug.
that she's as brilliant as Sally, and as reckless, or she's completely mad. It used to be you didn't have to make evil devices if you didn't want to. When did that change? That was rather brilliant of Faraday to discover Motilene, wasn't it? Since we can't get petrol anymore. That was a time when we were rather clever. When did it all become such a mess? Sucker. <laughs> if I got any power cells, I could fill them up too. the general, Sally. That's fantastic. I will gratefully accept your co kind offer and not mention any awkwardness that happened 14 years ago. That would have saved a bit of fuss. I hope Dr. Faraday can fix the bridge to St. George. When did we put all these clever mouse traps on our bridges? And why? Mum's been worried sick. I was... I was riding the subway. All day, back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, and back and forth, until it closed. Was I supposed to pay again? No, you're not supposed to run off like that without telling anyone. But I was having so much fun. You wouldn't have let me ride. No, no I wouldn't. <laughs> no I wouldn't. Do you remember 1939? I was five years old. We went places on the subway. With Mum, before she got sick. Yeah, I remember. I never forget anything. Looks like he was trying to get out. Something ripped him apart. Mustn't go down without a torch. If someone's gonna kill me, I wanna know who it is. Oh dear. this hole up before I have any uninvited visitors. I guess someone 
got out that way, which means someone could get in. I better patch this before I get unwanted guests. Visit back here. I feel sort of bad for them. This was their home. I suppose I don't feel bad enough to turn off the lights, though. Try not to dream about trains. 